Reverend Bill and this is Reverend Ann and we want to welcome you to Worship in Our Home. Every week when we're in this what has become our worship space, we have a collage of symbols of our faith that are important to us. They remind us often of special people, of special places, of special times. Sometimes these symbols change and sometimes they don't. Today we've chosen three symbols that we'd like to talk about a little more, take you on a little symbol tour, um, if you will, and um, share that with you on this day for our worship. And we hope that this will inspire you to think about the symbols in your home that are important to you. And maybe take a picture and write down a short story and send it to us, or if you dare, Try a short video uh, telling us a little bit and showing us one of the symbols in your home. We hope to share those on some future worship experiences. Thank you for joining us today. So let's start our symbol tour. For our Young in Spirit time today, the symbol that we would like to talk about is the Jesus doll that is behind us looking over our shoulder every week. On the left-hand side of your screen, there's a page that was written, and this was in the journal that always accompanied the Jesus doll that we would send home with our children and families. This little girl in particular named Emily had to go into the hospital in what turned out to be a very serious condition that needed to be treated right away. So the Jesus doll went to go visit her, and as she had him with her, she decided in her three-year-old independent spirit that she wanted to write, Jesus loves me, all by herself. So you can see in the letters written below, there is a big J and an E and a few M's and some wonderful writings that she came up with to express that faith. We give thanks for all of the ways that our young members express their faith and their love for God. May this continue to inspire us and strengthen us on our journey each day. found me just getting ready to read my Bible. But I was thinking about how the Bible is rarely just a Bible. In our sanctuaries, the Pew Bibles often have markers like in honor of or in memory of inside the front cover. And in our homes, our Bibles often tell the story of family ancestry or have other stories associated with them, much like the one I have sitting here you may have seen in our worship space. This Bible is almost 150 years old. But the Bible I'm about to read from is a trip down memory lane. It was a gift to me during 6th grade confirmation class at Belmont United Methodist Church in Nashville, Tennessee. And it reminds me of that class, the retreat we had, our teachers, the Reverend Dr. and Mrs. Judd Parker, who even though they were not members of that church staff, they took very seriously the job of teaching confirmation each year. I even remember being so sick I got nervous on confirmation day and needed to leave worship for a few minutes, but that's another story. As long as you're here, I want to share the passage with you that I'm about to read. It's about the mystery of God. In First Chronicles, we hear the story of King David as he's about to build the temple. And he had made a generous, generous gift to the building fund, 
and he was asking some members of the community who were able to do the same. And then he prayed to God for the glorious gift, and he reminded us all in his words of the mystery of God. Just as I prepare to share that passage with you, I wanted to show you this Bible. It has a denim cover and some very playful lettering, perfect for a six-year-old. It was kind of a surprise to me because all I had seen up to that point was, you know, black or dark brown Bibles with hard covers and formal lettering or leather covers and embossed lettering. This felt like a Bible for a sixth grader. Let me share that passage from 1 Chronicles. There in front of the whole assembly, King David praised the Lord. He said, Lord God of our ancestor Jacob, may you be praised forever and ever. You are great and powerful, glorious, splendid, and majestic. Everything in heaven and earth is yours, and you are king, supreme ruler over all. All riches and wealth come from you. You rule everything by your strength and power, and you are able to make anyone great and strong. Now, our God, we give you thanks, and we praise your glorious name. Thanks for listening. One day after church, an usher came to me and showed me something that was in the offering plate. It was this envelope that was filled out by one of our youngest members with all of these notes that say, I love God. It's a wonderful reminder that all of our gifts of time and talent and treasure are springing up from our love of God, our neighbor, and our love of ourself in God's presence. Thanks be to God. Amen.
let us join in our closing prayer and then all together in the Lord's Prayer. God, you infuse the world with spirit. You breathe life by your presence. You enter each moment afresh to help us experience the beautiful mystery of you. We know nothing can fully capture you. No words are enough. No artwork is perfect. No dreams are complete. You are bigger and greater beyond the limits of all human expression. We come this day to confess we often desire mastery, but in you we realize a deep-seated desire to dwell in mystery. With you, great God, an old dusty Bible on a bookcase comes alive as a story of numerous generations before. With you, grace shines through a beautiful cross made more alive as we appreciate the generosity and craftsmanship of a father. As we hear the stories behind these symbols today, we remember our own symbols and our own stories, and we open ourselves to your joy and your truth, gleaming brightly into our arena. God, we pray you will help us when we are tempted to spiritual mastery, and restrain us from assuming a symbol can never mean more than we already believe. May this time of worship help us appreciate the dynamic stories and diverse meanings we bring to the symbols which surround us at church and at home. May they create in us a place from which we are able to pass on their stories and beauty to others, ready to make the journey of transformation. By your incomprehensible power, may we find our soul cracked open and our spirit playfully ready to experience the new ways your mystery refreshes us. We pray this in the name of Jesus the Christ, our Savior, whose very life, death, and resurrection has become for us the most prominent symbol of faith, always holding the power to transform lives. And now let us join in our Lord's Prayer. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will, will be done, done on, on earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread. bread. And, and forgive, forgive us our, our debts, debts, as we forgive, forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen.